Hi guys, good morning. In this video, we are going to see this problem split with minimum sum. So problem says that we have given a positive integer nums and we have to split it into two non-negative integers, which is num1 and num2. The concatenation of num1 and num2 is a permutation of n number, which means that I can extract some digits out of my num, which is this particular number and whatsoever digit comes, I can make its permutation and combination anything I want. And then I can just use those in my num1 and num2. In other words, the sum of number of occurrences of each digit in num1 and num2 is equal to the number of occurrences that is in digit num, which means if my num is something like 2, 3, 6, 5, 4, so my num1 and num2 it can contain something like 3, 5, 4, uh, a 2, 6, which means that whatsoever digits are present in my number, it should be in the num1 and num2. Now we have to return the minimum possible sum of number and num2, right? And how I can make my number and num2? By using the digits of num, which is this particular thing. Let's see this example. We have given 4, 3, 2, 5. So if you're given 4, 3, 2, 5, I can use these digits, which is 4, 3, 2, and 5. And I have to split it into two numbers, which means I have to make a num1 and a num2. So the example says that we can make it as a split as num1 as 2, 4, which means I use this 2, I use this 4, I got a 2, 4. Now for num2, it says that I can use my 3, 5. I use this 5, I use this 3. So after adding it, I get a 59, which it says is the minimum sum. Let's see another example too. It is 687. Now I have 6, 8 and 7. I have to split it into num1 and num2. Now according to it, it says that it, I can have it as 68, which means I used 6 and 8. Cool. And also a num2 which means that, okay, I can have a seven. So after adding, I get a 75. It is this particular thing. So now see, uh, what was the condition? The condition was that I have to use the minimum possible sum. So to get the sum of two numbers as minimum, the condition is that both the numbers individually should be minimum, right? So num one and num two, we should make them as minimum, right? Cool. Now, if these are the numbers or the digits in my number num, then I can use those digits to make my num1 and num2. So let's say I extracted all these digits out, which is let's say 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 and 8. Let's say all these were maybe in my num. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Now I have extracted these. Now I have to make my num1 and num2. So let's say it is num1. Let's say it is num1 and it is num2. So the first option which we have is for sure if you want to make the number as minimum. So if the number you want to make as minimum, what you will try to do is you will try to place the minimum number here, after that here, after that here, after that here, after that here. Which means that if you have the number 2, 3, 4, 5 and you have to make this number minimum. So what you will do, you will place 2 at the first place. Because if you would have placed 3, then it would have become 3400 something or 3000 something. But here it would become 2000 something, which would be minimum. So to make the number minimum, I always try to place the minimum number at first place, whatsoever is possible. I use the same phenomena here to get this num1 as minimum. And why we want num1 as minimum? Because we want the sum as minimum. For sum as minimum, we want the sum of two numbers as minimum. So we want both the numbers individually to be minimum. Cool. Now I have these numbers 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So for sure, I'm starting, I start, starting out right. So I will place the minimum number 2 and 3 at the first place itself. Okay. Now I have the next number, which is 4 and 5. I will place 4 and 5 next. But next you will say, Aryan, what you did, a 35 would be more than a 34. So you would have got a 34 and a 25 rather, which means that you would have choose to do a, a 34 and 25. So maybe you have tried the exact pattern here. But I will say no, it will not matter as such. Why? It's because if you place a 5 and a 4 here, 
ऑल दो इट वुड हैव अ मिनिमम काइंड ऑफ लुक वाइज मिनिमम इंडिविजुअली बट द सम वुड ऑलवेज बी द सेम बिकॉज फाइव एंड फोर आफ्टर बींग एडेड इट विजल्ट नाइन हेट ऑल्सो इट रिजल्ट नाइन सो अल्टीमेटली इफ यू डू अ टू फोर एंड थ्री फाइव और अ टू फाइव and a 3 4 4 both in the same so basically I I just just want to make sure that I am just adding my numbers like two, three, four, five, six, seven, which means increasing the numbers and I'm adding from the first places itself so I just use this method of zigzag so rather than like it will just make the question hard so I rather I will just use this method of just traversing down from the first index up till the last and just placing the bigger elements as i go on forward it's the same thing which we have to do in this question so let's see how we did it so firstly uh, we can just extract both these strings out which means that i can just make this num1 num1 and num2 out so if i have this string let's say or i have this integer as a num so basically i converted it to string so my num let's say it was 2 3 4 5 now the number has become a Now my string s has become a two, three, four, five. Now I try to do it. What? I try to do a n one, n one as two, four. You see now alternate. I am going alternate because ultimately I just wanted three to come here and five to come there. That's the reason. So now ultimately I converted those strings back to numbers and I just added them and returned it. It was all. I hope that you guys liked it. If yes, then do the like button. It helps motivates a lot. See you guys next video. Then goodbye.